Guitar and Excel, Spreadsheet Creation, Mapping the Path to Fretboard Enlightenment, part number 13. Get ready and don't fret because it's just a board with strings on it and Excel will show us how it works. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet. So if using a blank worksheet, you might want to begin back there. However, if you do have access to this workbook, we got a lot of tabs down below, including the example tab, which is the final product, the end result, in essence, the answer key. The starting point tabs are going to refer to the video presentations tying into them and the blank tab representing the blank worksheet we started on and what we're going to be continuing with this time what did we do quick recap of what has been done thus far we started by thinking about our musical alphabet a and then the sharps and flats are going to be in the lowercase a b so a uh, sharp and then b c c sharp d d sharp e f f sharp g g sharp and then back to a again we numbered them which is useful both for our excel worksheet as well as our memorization we then created our major scale from it using this green note as the key which should be sh shifting everything adjusting everything if we just adjust this one note here with our musical formula we created the notes and then used it to construct this worksheet which is giving us the notes relative positions one two three four five six seven of the notes in the scale in this case the c scale and it tells us whether we're going to be constructing a major or minor chord from it gives us some intervals we also made a circular format which can be useful conceptually then we did the same thing for the minor let's do it down here the minor the other modes the dorian the phrygian the lydian the Mixolydian and the Lokian. Now these are all related to the same major and they all relate kind of to the same fretboard. So we can hide any of these we want to put it next to the same fretboard, which is gonna have the same notes that we're working on, which is focused in on different areas. Now below it, we're gonna start to say, I'm gonna put the related modes below that will have the same note. So we have, we're, if we're in C, major i want to see the related minor which we did last time c minor I, I mean i want to use the same starting point the same root instead of using the related minor which would be an a minor so that's what we did last time and now we're going to go to all the rest of them down below that are all going to start with a c so we'll go to the dorian uh this time now note there's one thing we didn't do last time i need to change these letters here and instead of having a fancy formula, I'm just going to say that these letters are going to be equal to the ones that we fixed in the minor mode before. Actually, not this one. Let's do it up top here. This one right here where we have the numbers. So I'm going to say this equals. I'm going to look to the minor we did up top. And I'm just going to be picking up this minor. And I should have the same pattern here. So I'll just pick up that pattern and copy it down. So we don't need to do that fancy formula again i can just pick up the relative pattern to the relative minor hopefully i remember to do that every time i think everything else is good we'll test it out you know as we start practicing with it but now i'm just going to copy this whole thing again and we'll just copy this whole thing again and i'm going to say Control c and put it down below and then Control v so there we have it. I'm going to name it now. It's going to be a Dorian. So I'm going to say equals. I'm going to look for the Dorian that we did up top. So the Dorian, there's the minor. Here's the Dorian. So we have the same names. Boom. And so that looks good. And then I just need to change my root note is going to be four again. So that looks good. And now I just need to copy the formula over. I just want to copy the same Dorian formula, scrolling up, and then I'm going to go to the right where we constructed a Dorian. And so that's over here, and I'm just going to copy this formula. So I'll just equals that, and I'm just going to copy that formula down. And that should populate the proper Dorian information here, uh, which is which should be good. And then I'm going to fix my numbers here by saying this equals... I'm going to go back up and look for the Dorian again. 
looking for the Dorian right there. And I'll just copy these numbers so I have the proper upper and lower case. So we'll copy those down. Boom. And so there we have that. So I think that is good. I'm not going to spend a lot of time checking it right now. I'm going to try to copy through. And if we notice any, any things that we need to tweak, I'll go back and fix them. So I'm going to go in and say, let's just keep doing this and see if I can get through at least a few of these uh, modes. So I'm going to copy this whole thing again. We'll copy this whole thing. Control C and we'll put it down here, control V. And so the C looks good. Now I'm on Phrygian now. So I'm gonna say this equals, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top and look for the Phrygian that we had up top. So here's the minor, here's the Dorian, here's the Phrygian. So I'll copy that name. And then I wanna copy the pattern. So this is gonna be equal to, and I'll scroll up top and we'll say the Phrygian, once again, the Phrygian, boom, 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 right there. And I wanna copy this pattern, which starts with that one, enter. And then I should be able to just copy that down, double click on it, It'll be a faster way to do it. There we have it. Now I could change these. I think I can change these by actually copying this formula. It might be faster. And then pasting it, uh, just the formula, just the formula, not the formatting. And so there we have it. And I should be able to copy that down. And I think that uh, should work. All right, let's go to the Lydian now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this whole thing. And we'll just go down to, I can't see how far I need to go. Right there, Control C. And then we'll paste that down here, Control V. That looks good. I'm going to take my formula. And well, let's do it this way first. Let's go over here and say, I want to take the name equals up top and then i'm going to go all the way to the right till i get to lydian so i'm going to say all right there's dorian there's phrygian and there's lydian so I'll enter that and now i should be able to copy the relative reference so i think i could just copy this and paste it right here in the formula and it will take the relative formula up there in the lydian so i'm going to then say right click and paste just the formula, not the formatting, and then copy that down. And so that should give us that. I'm going to do the same thing here, right click, uh, or I can copy this, control C and right click and paste just the format. I think that should work, copying it down. And so there we have our uh, Lydian. Okay, let's try it again. So let's say copy this whole thing and we'll go down to here and say control c i'm going to put this down below control v and now we're on the mixolydian so i'm going to do the same thing this equals all the way to the top on the name all the way to the top and then to the right looking for mixolydian and this helps us to kind of memorize the order dorian phrygian lydian mixolydian okay boom there's that and then I'm gonna copy that and paste the formula here, just the formula only. Copy that down. I'm gonna copy that and paste the formula only here and then copy that down. And I think that should populate it. So, so we'll say, okay. Now hold on, something went funny with that one. Let's copy that again. I did the, form, I did the format, oh, I'm gonna copy and paste the formula and so there we have it so that looks good okay let's do one more i'm going to copy this again ultra vase and this will be the last one we're going to copy that and put that down below here control v or paste change let's change the name first equals i'm going to go all the way to the top page up this time I'm using page up to get to the top and then I'm gonna to go to the right. It's all the way the last one. So there's the minor, the Dorian, Phrygian, uh, Lydian, Mixolydian, and then Locrian. So we'll pick up the Locrian. That's the one we want. And then I'm gonna copy that formula, just the formula only here, right click and paste just the formula, copying that down. 
I'm going to copy it again and paste that over here, just the formula. And copy that down. That's the weird one that has the, the diminished up top. And so that looks good. So that looks good. So now I'm, I'm going to do the same on the right. But now let's copy our fretboards down again. So now I've got my relative. I'm going to control shift down so I can see a little bit more to the side. And let's copy our fretboards. So here we have the minor. The next one starts right there. So I'm going to make another fretboard here, which is equal to uh, this one up top. And I'll copy that down to the eight and I'll copy it to the right there. And then I'm just going to format paint it. I'll just take this whole thing and say format paint and put it right there. And then this one is going to line up to this one. So I want it to line up right there. This is going to be equal to this fretboard. And so if, if I got something wrong on the fretboard, it should copy, everything should copy through. So I can just fix whatever's wrong on any one individual fretboard and all the rest of them should be fixed as well. I'll format paint this one, format paint it there. And so that lines up and then the next one happens right here. So I'm just gonna line it up right there. And maybe I can just copy this pattern now. So I could probably copy just this pattern of the two fretboards and the relative cell references should populate down here. So I can just paste that right here, control V. I think that works. And then the next one is gonna be right here and so i'll just say control v there's our fretboards and then the next one is right here control v and then the next one is that it or is that there's one more is right here and look at that so now if i was if i was playing with this i can say okay let me i can go to the i can work in my c major i can put this side by side over here with my fretboard by hiding these and i can be working with the c major next to my fretboard i can also hide maybe i don't want this top bit i can hide that i don't want the number ones i just want the ones with the letters in it and then from here maybe i want to hide like uh all of this where's the next one start uh, uh, so, so there's that, maybe I don't want like this stuff. So I could go down to here and hide this one, hide. And then maybe I want to hide from, I could probably go up a little higher. I can hide. Well, let's go from like here to here and hide that because maybe I don't need that one in the middle and then maybe I go from like here to here and hide and then I go from like here to uh, here and hide and then I can go from maybe here to here and hide and then I can go from here to here and you might have these hidden like all the time because maybe you don't want the number only ones is what i'm doing so i can go from here to here right click and hide so uh, i think i hit the wrong one any case i won't get into it now let's undo that last i don't know what i did there any case so well, i can then say okay i've got my major i can go to the right now and look at the minor the related minor I can look at the Dorian and so on, and I can hide columns to look at these side by side with this fretboard because they're using the same notes. And then I can also say, well, what, what if I want to try to transition by going and using the root as my pivot? Then I can go to the related minor, which has a different fretboard because I can map out the notes on the separate fretboard, which will be different then up here and then if i want to transition to the dorian the c dorian then again i have a different fretboard so now i can try to say what if i look at this fretboard and then transition here how can i transition to the the dorian to the phrygian in c the lydian in c and so on 
and then this one I messed up, but the Mixolydian and then, you know, the Locrian. How can we transition between those? And we have all the different fretboards. All right, so I'm going to unhide everything, unhide, and let's unhide this way, unhide. And then, now, I'm going to do the same thing in future presentations just for, like, if you had the major here and you went to the minor and then you wanted to go from the minor, which is now on an A, and go below it. So I'll do the same thing and just add the related the related ones below it for all the rest of them, which is should be the same kind of process. Shouldn't be something new in Excel. So, but it's kind of useful just to go through the steps and we'll and that'll be our worksheet.